Alright, welcome everybody, New Joker 6 here. Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial of how to mod the, mod items in Skyrim to add them onto your character. So first up, you need to lower up your Skyrim and update ESM. Assuming you know how to do that. If you don't, you go into File, go down to Data. This, File, Data. Add your two files, click OK, hit Yes to All to anything that pops up. Now when you're done, for example, for this, we're going to go with Jewelry Gold. I'm sorry, not gold, it's under Jewelry Ring. We're going to do a ring and enchant it with piercing. Make sure you're under all. Alright, now what you want to do is you're going to want to get, example, you want to do the emerald one. Go ahead, right click it, duplicate it. And you're gonna get a copy. The same thing. That's that's gold. Uh, that's a gold emerald. Go down here and copy the recipe for jewelry ring gold emerald. Okay. And then go ahead and open up the the first one. Your gold ring. Your gold emerald ring. Your first duplicate you made. Change your ID number to something else. I use demonstration ring for this name you can name it whatever you want this is what the name is going to be in game go down to enchanting give it this one right here here's in ring enchantment there is the cursed one so if you want curse you can go ahead and pick the cursed one if you don't you pick this one that's simple template you put whatever you want if you, if you want this to all be template if you want to change any of this go ahead you can change the weight change the armor armor rating equip whatever when you're done with that, hit OK. Then you want to open up your, the recipe, gold emerald ring. When that opens up, again, change the ID. We're, for here, we're using recipe jewelry demonstration ring. For your created object, go ahead and pick the object that you just made. We named ours demonstration ring, so that's the item we're picking. Created object count is the amount that you're that you're gonna make with it. For one example, you got say you got your normal gold ring. It costs one gold ingot, and you get what two of them, two rings for that, maybe one or two. You could set this. You got a nine. You get nine for one gold ingot. Right here, workbench keyword. You set that to whatever you want to use on whether you want to use it in the forge, the smith. The tanning rack, whatever. For ours, we're going to go ahead and use the tanning rack. Object ID. If you don't want it, you delete it. This right here is what you need to craft the item. Here's the item. Here's your amount. You don't want it. Right click, delete. You do want it. Hit new. Go like this. Add it. Right here, count. This will change the amount that you need for it. We're on leather. We can go like this and change it to two. Well, for us, we're only going to use one leather. Down here, you can chain, go into new. And you can set all your, all your restrictions. For example, if you need to have a certain perk, say you're a hunter, you need to have a certain archery skill for it. You can have that. So when you're done, go ahead and save it, name it whatever you would like. And that'll be that's it. It's that simple. Next up. We need to load up Skyrim. Alright, and welcome everybody. We're here in Skyrim now. Now we put our thing over on the tanning rack. So we're going to head on over to the tanning rack. There it is. Jewelry. Our gold emerald ring. We call it the demonstration ring. There it is. It's got the pow power of here sign. You see, we set it for one leather. So you get one leather. Nine rings. 9,000 value each. So we're going to go ahead and make that. Just like that we got it. Just for the hell of it we're going to go ahead and just make a bunch of them. Why? Because we can't afford it. <laughs> now you go into your inventory. Take a look at your items. It's a ring so it's under apparel. We got 9 for each one. So we got 72 of them just that quick. That easily. And they're nine, worth 9,000 each. If we were to take it over to Riverwood right now. Here in the beginning of the game. He'd pay over 3,000 for them for each room. Too bad he doesn't have that much, but hey, he'll pay that much for it. As you see here, you do not. The effect is there. 
but you cannot change into a werewolf because you need to be a werewolf before that ring has an effect. So if you're on PC, you want to cheat, go ahead, you can put the console command in. And there you go, you got it. If you don't want to cheat, well then, you can go ahead and get that ring early. And you won't have to do that quest for it. And as soon as you become a werewolf, you can change as much as you want. So, I guess that's it. And join, I hope you like this this little tutorial on how to make that ring.